Morgan and Rick's ambiguous exchange concerning Morgan's wife, which took place 13 years after the event in The Walking Dead, was ultimately revealed in Season 8 of Fear the Walking Dead. When The Walking Dead's 11th season came to an end, Fear the Walking Dead found itself in an undesirable situation. Even though Fear the Walking Dead has developed a rich mythology of its own, fans still anticipate that some of the characters from The Walking Dead will make an appearance. As a consequence, Morgan, a mainstay of The Walking Dead, is one of the main protagonists in Fear the Walking Dead Season 8. This puts the spin-off in a difficult situation, however. It will seem as if Morgan's participation is unnecessary if the program minimizes his contribution. However, if the program focuses more on Morgan than the unimpressive antagonist Padre from Fear the Walking Dead Season 8, the show runs the danger of being more like a simple continuation of the original show rather than its own beast. The majority of Season 8 of Fear the Walking Dead leverage is Madison's story arc to make sure that viewers care about people outside Morgan. The Fear the Walking Dead spin-off, however, exclusively focuses on Morgan's plot in Episode 4 of Season 8, King County of the main series. Morgan said that the Walking Dead hero Rick Grimes handed him a weapon to kill his zombie wife Jenny and fear the Walking Dead season 8 while Grace and Mo were there. Days gone by, the first episode of season 1 of The Walking Dead took place 13 years ago, but Rick never made it clear what the weapon was used for. However, he did make the indication that Morgan should kill Jenny before she became a fatal burden while uttering the word scopes accurate and giving Morgan a warning look. Morgan ultimately clarifies what Rick really meant in King County, so demonstrating that he comprehended the euphemism. The council was practical yet useful, as was typical of Rick's no-nonsense practicality. When Morgan acknowledged that his son Dwayne only became a walker because Jenny bit him, a destiny that may have been prevented if Morgan had not been frightened to take Rick's advice, Morgan demonstrated that Rick's heroic instincts were correct. As a result of this incident, Morgan suffered from terrible amnesia. Overcome with remorse for his son's metamorphosis into a walker, Morgan became insane and turned into a ruthless murderer. So in King County, Morgan went back to the site of the horrific incident to end Dwayne's suffering. Back in the first episode of The Walking Dead, Rick wanted Morgan to understand that his zombified wife was no longer herself. The franchise's protagonist was already exhibiting the ruthless but essential attitude that enabled him to thrive over the show's 11 season, inadvertently. He was also highlighting the key difference between himself and Morgan that would come to characterize both personalities. Morgan from Fear the Walking Dead stopped in moments of crisis when confronted with confrontation, whereas Rick acted swiftly. Both characters did not always understand the benefits of this, but Morgan has frequently learned through his character arc the need of adopting Rick's impulsive mindset. When Rick and Morgan first met, Rick thought that Morgan's perspective on the zombie apocalypse was incompatible with his. Rick intended to travel towards Atlanta right away after learning about the end of society since there could still be people there. Morgan, on the other hand, preferred to remain put and depend on the relative protection of home. Throughout the length of The Walking Dead, Morgan's cautious caution and Rick's aggressive posture clashed, and both characters found it difficult to connect with one another. Long after Rick and Morgan's last encounter, the tension in King County eventually reaches a breaking point. If viewers are to believe that Morgan's suffering on both programs has been caused by his inability to kill Jenny, then he might have avoided that destiny by simply following Rick's instructions. Undoubtedly, neither character's post-apocalyptic existence was going to be easy because to the zombie virus from the Walking Dead series. But if Morgan had listened to Rick, he may have spared himself a lot of suffering. Morgan ultimately had to murder Jenny and Dwayne because he refused to kill Jenny. The protagonist of Fear the Walking Dead ought to have had faith in the main character of The Walking Dead in the long run. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe and give us a like.